Hey everybody, I am Seth McClung, owner of Big Red Baseball for Gulf Coast Prospects. Former Major League Baseball player, spent 16 years as a professional, seven years in the big leagues. I'm here with my buddy, Coach Q Elvis Casada. My man spent seven years as a professional baseball player with the New York Mets organization and New York Yankees organization. Spent five years coaching with the Yankees in the Yankees organization as a pitching coach and instructor. And he also spent uh, a good portion of his career as a, you were a pitching coach at Manhattan College, is that pitching correct? Pitching coach and recruiter at Manhattan College. Uh, spent four years there prior to my time with the New York Yankees. So that's who we are, all right? And today, we're gonna talk about a hot button issue, all right? We are hearing so much about stealing signs, right? And it's a real thing. It I, definitely it, is, uh, and, and I think it's part of the game. It's been, it existed in the game for a long time. And uh, the only people that can deter that are the ones that are whose signs are being stolen. And that's why the complicated uh, signs uh, at the pro level. So definitely, we're not going to talk about what's going on with the Houston Astros. Uh, we're not going to get into that. What we're going to talk about today is stealing signs at the pro level, where uh, it's not the major league level. You know, so definitely, it's it's all eyes and, and what's going on. And we're also going to start uh, talking about stealing signs at uh, the amateur level, we're gonna talk about what's acceptable, how to fix it, and how to go about it. So definitely we've established there's, there's two different modes of, of what we're looking for as far as pros and amateurs. Uh, Coach Q, tell me a little bit about, from the pro game, what you guys are looking for and how you steal signs and, and how you relay them in. Well, at, at the lower levels and the things that I've experienced with some of the, uh, the opposing players is especially guys running at second, okay? Well, there's different techniques that they give away the signs. Obviously, they're peering into our signs, and they'll do one, they'll do a, one of a few things, okay? Uh, one, one simple technique is, you know, putting their hands on their knees. You know, it could mean uh, a secondary pitch. Or putting their hands down between their legs uh, can can signal something different, fastball or whatnot. So these are the things that I tend to look at when there's a guy on guy on second. So so you're saying as as a as a pitching coach, um, if if you see a guy on second, you know one thing that the pitcher has a second set of signs at the pro level. Uh, you know he said lower levels. He he means uh, the younger kids in pro ball uh, because obviously in pro ball there's lots of different levels. Um, the, uh, you get a runner on second in pro ball, you're using a different set of signs. You can see the taps or you can see follow the previous pitch or follow the two or you, there's so many different things that a catcher is going to do. So there's going to be multiple sets of signs. Um, I, I'm always thinking that in, in that situation, uh, the hitter basically just needs to know in or out because um, basically the count will dictate at, at the pro level what pitch is going to be thrown. What do, you, what do you think about that, Coach? Of course it does. Um, usually at that level, you know, guys guys are only expanding with their off st off speed stuff away, you know, um, and and then you know when they're coming in, they're not coming in with off speed, you know. So just knowing that difference between out and in is plenty enough to give a uh, giveaway what pitch we're uh, we're gonna we're about to throw. So another thing is sometimes you can pick up the signs from the third base coach. And this is important. This is the, the most important thing, and it's, it's the pro side and the amateur side. When you're trying to pick up signs from the third base coach, uh, what's the most important thing there? From the dugout, basically what we want to do is pay attention to who's giving the signs at the time that he's doing it. Uh, we're looking for an indicator. We're looking for some sort of uh, pattern in what he's uh, relaying to, to, the, to the hitter or the runner. So, and one of the things that'll help you steal signs is if, if you know you've got a guy that's kind of quick, you, you want to pay attention because he's probably going to get the steal sign. So you're probably going to get the indicator and the steal sign uh, on that situation. Uh, at the pro level, if you've got a guy with a lot of contact and there's less than two outs, you're also looking for the hit and run, I would, I would imagine, too. So those are two things that you're really looking for. Um, anything else that, that stands out um, at, at the pro level as far as maybe what the catcher's doing? Of course. Uh one of the biggest things telltale signs is how they're setting up um, as far as catchers. Uh, they can give away signs and, 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 and uh, sequencing by the way they position their hands, by the way they position themselves at the plate. You know, a lot of catchers want to be ready for that, that block for an off-speed pitch and they start to rise a little early you know, before the pitch is coming. Um, and when, when a fastball is coming, they're a little more comfortable. So you can see that that pattern in some inexperienced catchers as well. 
Right. Oftentimes, uh, I, I remember when, when we played, uh, especially at you know the younger levels of pro ball, catchers would totally give it away on a breaking ball every single time, you know, because they really wanted to stay down. So those are great. Those are some great insights that you're really looking looking to. Um, one more thing is is how how does a, a a pro team relay the sign in from the dugout to the batter? There's different there's different techniques. Uh, a simple one would be you know. Uh, Saying the hitter's name, you know, uh, like his, first and last, first, first and last, or name. maybe number, right? Exactly, or number. So, um, I mean, whatever it is, it could be a verbal cue, you know, it could be a relay from the on deck, the on deck hitter, um, it could be a visual cue from from the third base or first base coach. And those coaches sometimes are peeking in at the signs as well. As well, yes. Um, a, a, Again, at the inex uh, the inexperienced levels, you know you have uh, definitely s many situations where catchers spread open, give off the signs, um, and the guy on first uh, the, is up the line, and he can have a clear uh, vision of the signs, or the guy on third does that. So watch out for the, your your first and third base coaches being too far up the line. Um, trying to trying to peek in at your catcher, and most people don't know it, but that's why there's those coaches boxes. Yes, exactly. And that, that. Is, that is the only reason, and and nobody pays attention to that rule. Uh, going on, like, there's obviously more. We could get more in depth with it, but this is just kind of a gloss over. Going into the amateur side of the game, uh, I look. I'm looking for a lot of the same things. Um, I tell my guys at second, we want to look in because a lot of times. Catchers are just using one sign, one or two. And so from second, we'll relay a sign, like Coach had said, maybe hands on our knees or a, a touch here or maybe a lean one way or the other, whether we're giving away in or out. Now, um, well, oftentimes you can, you can combat this by, one, mixing up your signs, as we mm -hmm. talked about, too. But the other part is catchers set up way too early. If you set up a little bit later, you can stop that. Uh, mix up your signs, mix up an inside move with a runner on second. Um, that's, that's always a good thing. Um, but also from the amateur side, what you're looking at is, is coaches are very repetitive in giving their signs and what they're doing. And they have to be very simple. So what I look for first and foremost is, is the indicator. What's the one thing that they're doing every time, or not every time, and then all of a sudden something happens and they have an indicator on, whatever that may be, that's point is the indicator. And usually, if you find out the indicator, in the amateur game, it's a steal or a pitch out or something like that. Uh, those are the things that you're looking for. Coach Tuck touched on the third base coach being up the line. That's a big one I see in, in the younger levels. In the nine, 10 year olds, I'll see coaches up the lines relaying signs all day long. Um, and whether it's a fastball or a changeup or whatever. So if you see a coach that's up there, you combat that with, with the catcher putting his glove over, actually over his front knee and giving the signs deeper into the pocket back there. So that's another thing. If you're a team who's, who's concerned about uh, your, signs, your signs being stolen, um, it, it's up to you to, to combat that. You know, it's up to you to make your signs a little more complicated. It's up to you to devise a plan to where that doesn't happen. What, what about hitting guys, coach? At, at what point, at what point in the pro level, all right, do, do you consider hitting somebody? I know this is, okay. I know this is a sensitive subject. <laughs> this is very sensitive. And, and, so, and, I, and I'm going to come back with it on the amateur side. Um, you know, uh, I, I feel, and tell, tell me if, if you think I'm wrong. I, I'll, I'll answer it. If, 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 no, I can answer well, that. I, well, just tell me if you think I'm wrong. I, I feel like if it's constant, 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 even after you're changing signs, even, even after you're mixing in everything up and, and it's still constant, I, I feel a good pitch inside. And I, I maybe not hitting them, but maybe a message of saying, hey, look, Let's play the game right. You know, let's let's stop let's stop throwing that sign that way. Yes, I mean, I think that's that should be left up to a level where where the pitcher has enough command to send the message. Yeah, definitely an upper level stuff. Yes. I've got a funny story about me being in AAA, uh, <laughs> doing something similar like that. But that's for another time. Uh, in the amateur game, I, I'm not a big fan of hitting people, uh, really at all. Um, yeah. You know, it's not. It, it's 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 really like Coach Q had said earlier. It's on you not to get your signs stolen. Um, you mix your signs in, mix your looks, 
mix, mix your indicators, and even if somebody has your signs, change them. Um, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Don't don't be lazy with it. You know, if you got to run it on second, mix in a couple more fingers and, and maybe you know start some taps to establish what sign set you want to use. So those are just some some very some very easy ways to spot what's going on with stealing signs uh, and some some pretty easy ways to combat it. It's it's really stealing signs is is really uh, it's an art. You mm -hmm. know, we're, we're all taught to do it. Uh, it's part of the game. It really is. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't think. I, mean, it, I don't think any pro has a real big issue with the stealing signs as long as it's done within the non-videotape camera yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's been part of the game forever, um, and, and it's up to it's up to your team to combat that. You know, uh, not making it so so complicated for the kids to understand it, but just a simple factor. That, that he mentioned is just switching your indicator. You switch your indicator from inning to inning, or you know, you can go with outs. You know, switch your indicator with your outs. Um, that that just keeps it, uh, it keeps that sequence from 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 creating a pattern. One of the other things um, that, that in the big leagues that we would do, and, and minor leagues too, um, each pitcher had their own set of signs. Mm -hmm. If you, if you if you if every if every pitcher is going follow <coughs> the two, they're gonna figure that out. Yeah, you know. I'll tell you right now in pro ball, you see you see all the guys taking their hats off. They're, that's what they're looking at. They're, there's an algorithm that that puts out different signs for every day, every outing for every pitcher, and they change daily. They change daily, so they're they're not they're not remembering any of these signs. They're actually printed out for them. They have one. The catcher has one as well. So I mean, that's that's at the pro level where it's. They're trying to combat that themselves, you know. So you combat it the way you can, um, at the level that you're at. But honestly, it's uh, it's on your your team. It's on your it's your responsibility to make sure that those signs are installed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed just a little insight to stealing signs from a professional level and from the amateur level. Again, from the amateur level, uh, guys, it's on you. Just just change the signs, mix it up just a little bit. Uh, I'm Seth McClung. This is Coach Q, Coach Casada, Elvis Casada. We are really excited to be here. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, follow, all that good stuff. Um, my uh, Instagram is Seth underscore 3773. My Twitter is Big Red, at Big Red B Ball 73. Um, and then your Instagram? Instagram is E3S1Q. Those are my initials and my number. And then uh, Twitter's QQQ3111. Guys, again, we're available for private lessons and private instruction. we got a ton of baseball knowledge. We're glad to be able to share it with you. This is the first, all right, this is the first video that we got him on. I've been doing these videos for a while. This is the first video we got Coach Q out here. Uh, please comment. Let us know what you think. This one ran a little bit long. All of our information I'll post here. Like, share, follow. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, brother. Left me hanging. See, we gotta work on this. <laughs> hey, thanks again for watching. Want to give a big shout out to McComb Training Gear, baseball, softball, one of our sponsors. Want 20% off? Link is in the comments.